हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ महमूद तुरानी दिस इज़ माय चैनल अकाउंटिंग टुडे इज लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन टुडे टॉपिक इज अन अर्न रेवेन्यू मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रेंड्स बिफोर गोइंग टू लेक्चर आई आई जस्ट वांट टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ I have done CPA certified public accountant C articles BBS bachelor of business studies BCom bachelor of commerce uh, and I have accounting education background and also like this accounting experience background 6 year accounting experience I have worked on 52 projects I have done jobs and teachings in different countries also in multinational companies multinational companies friends today our topic is unearned revenue let's come to our topic let's we start the topic friends kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all my lectures on today our top now our topic is on earn revenue and this is lecture number 11 okay let's we start <coughs> on earn revenue lecture number 11 i will give a very simple definition to understand the unearned revenue topic when simple to understand the unearned revenue mean कैश रिसीव्ड बट सर्विसेज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड इज कॉल्ड अन अन रेवेन्यू दीज और द बेसिक key terms and basic definition of unearned revenue cash received the business any business for example a b c and co received cash but but services not provided what we will do what the abc and co business will do for journal entries that okay we take one example the abc and co is the property abc and co have property and abc and co they give this property for example building abc and co give this property on rent so rent is revenue for abc and co friends abc and co have one property which is building and this building abc and co give on rent so
parents. In this definition, the cash received but services not provided and also we add revenue not completed mean we received the cash but against this cash our service is not delivered our revenue not generate revenue not generate rent is our revenue we receive the cash but we receive the rent but our revenue not generated for example we receive rent july july rent in advance advance rent is our un earned revenue let's do journal entry so you will get all the concept very easy We are doing this journal entry. Date particulars debit credit. Friends, very important point is that un un revenue is our liability because we receive the cash but services not provided revenue not generated generated revenue not generated so here we do entry for rent un un rent so friend we receive the cash against the rent cash is our asset asset increase so twenty thousand dollars debit and our unearned revenue our unearned revenue will credit twenty thousand dollars why unearned revenue will credit because it is our liability and liability is increasing so therefore unearned revenue will credit when liability increase it will credit twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars this is the entry for unearned rent so friends our cash we received the cash so cash is debit and on on revenue is credit this is total rent receive in advance this is narration rent received in advance rent I am giving a small review again. So we receive the rent in advance, and which is our unearned rent, and this is our unearned revenue. 
so we receive the cash or asset increase so cash debit when asset increase then our asset will debit therefore cash debit and un earned revenue is our liability liability increasing so when liability increase it will credit unearned revenue credit now we do adjustment entry what we will do when our revenue occurred for example we received rent in advance but the month for which we received this rent this month came for example august month came for august we will do one entry for revenue here unearned revenue this is our adjustment entry for unearned rent now revenue occurred now it is not advanced the month of august we the month of august came so now we will declare our revenue so unearned revenue is our liability unearned revenue liability here decreasing when liability decrease it will debit unearned revenue is debit twenty thousand dollars and revenue will credit because now revenue occurred we got the rent in advance of august in july but july month came so it now we are declaring our revenue so revenue is always credit so revenue credit ten thousands dollars twenty thousand dollars total revenue declared in books so here i write revenue declared in, in books for august we can write no need to we write the books here revenue declared for august it's up to here it's right here i give this main important point this entry we do this entry we do to declare our revenue now this books for point should come here our, our revenue in books of accounts okay friends unearned revenue unearned rent cash debit unearned revenue credit then adjustment entry unearned revenue debit and revenue credit friends kindly subscribe my channel to get all my lectures and press bell icon to get all lectures updated thank you